I'm Hannah Harriman. Um, my major is Relational Communications, um, minoring in Psychology, and um, I am from Stillwater, Minnesota. I'm blind, hard of hearing, and have mild cerebral palsy in one side. When I was little, um, my parents didn't exactly know what they were going to be dealing with. They were given, you know, a three-page document or something like that saying, here's all the things that could be wrong with her, but we don't know what's going to be wrong with her. You know, my parents had high expectations for me. They always have, you know, they've said, uh, when you, um, you know, graduate from high school, you and your two younger sisters are expected to get four-year degrees in college, and just because you have uh, disabilities doesn't change that. Did public school throughout um, elementary through high school. Did a transition program at the State School for the Blind in Faribault to just develop independent living skills, like, you know, how do you as a blind person, you know, cook, clean, um, be a productive member of the workforce. Did uh, my generals at Century College, which is a community college about 15 minutes away from here. I took a class and there was a person in that class who, um, you know, I, I thought we were friends at first. And, um, you know, she asked, you know, will you go to this healing ceremony with me at my church? And I was like, you know, I don't believe in that stuff, but you know, maybe God has a plan through this. So, you know, let me pray about it, see what happens. So I prayed about it, talked to my mom, talked to my family, talked to some people at that church retreat. And I just felt like, you know, that may be for some people, but that's not for me. Basically for the next rest of the semester, she would say stuff like, the way you are now is the way Satan wants you. You're worthless without a miracle. Um, she would put stuff in the middle of the walkway when I'd walk into class just so that I'd like trip over it. I was determined not to care. But after hearing it for about two months, you know, I kind of started to give in to the mindset. I remember at the time praying like, God, why would you make me go through this? What is the point in all of this? At about that time, uh, there was a student in one of my other classes who had other disabilities, not, you know, vision related. This person in one of my other classes was like talking to me about some stuff and was like, you know, you used to be a, like one of the most outgoing people in our class. Like, I don't really know you. I know I'm kind of a blunt person, but what the heck is going on with you? And then, you know, we got to talking about it. After a while, I kind of opened up and like, explained what was going on and this person said to me, you know, I grew up as a Christian, but I've started to walk away from the faith and seeing the grace and the mercy that you're displaying to this person is bringing me back to the faith. Slowly just learning that, you know, it may not be me that God's trying to change. I may be an instrument that he's using in another person's life.